YouTube. Hey, how you doing? Hey, it is Father's Day 2020. Got to put that date out there because I don't know when you're going to be watching it. But I'm just sitting here by myself. I got a lot of artists to take care of. So I'm going to do a plenty of videos today. The first one I'm going to do is sublimating on the canvas. Yes, cotton sublimating. Yes, I'm going to do it. And you can too. So let's get to it. Okay, so you're probably wondering what you need to make this project. So you're going to need canvases. And I just got the 8 by 10 from Michaels. They were on sale. Scotch thermal laminating pouches. Any laminated pouches will do. I just have scotch. You're going to need your image that you're going to put on. And you're going to need your heat press tape. Your heat tape, I'm sorry. And your heat press. And since my laminated paper is bigger than my canvas, I have my cutting tools, I have my cutter, and I have a ruler to measure, and of course I have my thermal thermometer. So I designed this in silhouette. Now I will just send it to the printer. Make sure I choose the right printer, get my settings. I have my presets, so I'm going to go to... 8 by 11 mirror. Let it work its magic. Always have on print preview so I can make sure everything is okay, looks good to me. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit print. Okay, so in the other part of the house, I had to take a little pause break to walk over to the other side of the house to get the print. Cannot wait till my whole room is together so I can print design and all that in one room but i'm taking you on that journey so you will see it with me and it is ready pretty cool so because my Laminating paper is bigger than my canvas. All I did was line my laminating paper up, make some marks on it, then put it in the cutter and just cut it to a perfect 8 by 10 And that's all I did. Okay, one thing I forgot to tell you is these are laminating pouches. So, it's actually two pieces. So, before you size it, you can go ahead and separate the two pieces. Okay, so on this laminated sheet, there's a shiny side and a dull side. You want to make sure your si shiny side is up, okay? So you're going to put the um, heat press on 385, and you're going to press medium to heavy pressure for about 20 seconds. 20 to 25 seconds, all you're doing is getting that lamination, that laminating paper to stick to the, to the canvas. So I put that in there. Let me turn the camera and make sure you got a good view of it. Can't tell because I got my tripod on there. Okay, so I'm going to put... A protective sheet on and I'm just since it's so small I'm gonna just use regular copy paper 20 to 25 seconds
Okay, so when you open this, it might be stuck to the top, but don't worry about it. It's going to pop back down. There we go. And it's very hot. So, it's on there. Oh, Lord. Let me do this. So, before you put the print on there, you need to make this, make sure it's cool. Make sure it don't have no bubbles. If it have bubbles, you can go ahead and put it back in there. So, this is hot. I actually have one that I prepared earlier today, so we're going to go ahead and use this one. Okay, so I have my print down, and I'm going to line my canvas up, and I always try to make my substrate, which is the thing that I'm putting the print on, a little bit larger I mean, I make the print a little bit larger than my substrate. So I got that pretty much where I wanted it. I'm gonna flip it over carefully. Lay it in the heat press. Again, I'm gonna just use regular copy paper. I'm gonna lay two sheets on it this time just for the blowout. Let me get my camera right. Okay. This will be 60 seconds. 60 whole seconds. So, let's get that popping. Okay, we got that beat going on. Add something else. You should have these dang on gloves. I forgot to tell you that because this suck is hot. So, I'm going to pull the print up. Beautiful. Look at it. I got smart and I put that dang on glove on there. And that is the canvas. enjoyed this tutorial on sublimating on the canvas if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button i stephanie am personally inviting you if you are not already a member to become a member of my facebook group the name of it is cricket crafting dot 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 the beginning and beyond there'll be a link in the description i hope to see you there i also invite you to follow this youtube channel I'm getting ready to do a little something, something. My daughter, my niece, and my nephew are going to join me in this crafting business. The girls are going to be actually doing the crafting with me. They're going to learn from A to Z. We're going to be doing a lot of shipping. And I'm going to take you on this journey. Also, the journey of getting this garage straight. I'm going to turn it into a crafting room. So I hope you all join us. We're going to start tomorrow. My nephew is going to be the camera person. He does not want to be in front of the camera, but of course I'm going to sneak him in there. But thank you all so much, and I hope to see you later on on another video. Bye-bye.